Hello guys, welcome back to Serious Bear Nick. So today I'm planning to showcase my new, uh, brand new gaming setup and I'm super excited to show you the contents inside. So let's have a look. So this is pretty much it. I have opened the side panel to show the contents inside. I have bought this PC uh, from the MSI store. I was browsing through the models, pretty much uh, going through the components and kind of handpicking them. And finally, I ended up with this particular model here, the MSI Infinite S3 Mag. So now let's talk about the components in detail. So on top, we have the Intel i7 13th Gen 13700F. It's a pretty handy uh, processor and it could handle most of the modern games at a very good speed. So I would recommend this processor for um, kind of budget to high-end gaming. Next to it, we have our um, two sticks of 16 gigabytes of uh, DDR5 RAM. So they are uh, from Samsung. So in overall, we have like 32 gigabytes of um, DDR5 RAM. And below that, we have our power horse in the PC, the MSI GeForce RTX 4060 Ti. Um, let me try to focus here. Yeah, two, two fans, two cooling fans black in color and then 16 uh, gigabytes of vram so it's a pretty good uh, gaming card i would say the gpu um, it can handle most of the games uh, i wouldn't say it's a high-end gaming uh, gpu because um, it, it it comes with only 4k cuda cores and it's it's one of the uh, budget friendly mid-range gaming gpus uh, but it it's pretty uh, it can handle most of the modern games pretty well because it has the new uh, technology for the DLSS and uh, also the AI frame rendering. So the FPS boost is uh, kind of enabled because of the, the software provided inside the chip. So it's one of the pretty uh, decent uh, chips available in today's market. And then below you have our FSP, um, FSP power supply. This is a pretty standard industrial ATX power supply. And the consumption or the capacity here is 500 watts. Um, I think um, this is um, enough for us because our um, RTX 4060 Ti card uh, roughly uses around uh, 160 to 190 watts of power when it's under maximum load. And then uh, we, ha we have the i7, uh, which is also around something like 70 watts of power. And, and then the RAM sticks uh, could be around 10 watts or 5, 5 watts, something around that. So it is falling well below 500 watts. I think that's, uh, that's sufficient. And uh, the certification is 80 plus um, bronze. Uh, so this is um, kind of a decent power supply, which we have. Uh, probably in the future, I will be upgrading this power supply to something like a gold or platinum certification. And also, uh, probably then we will have a newer uh, GeForce um, RTX card as well. So for now, it's a pretty good setup for me and it can run almost all the games mm, pretty smoothly. Um, uh, but mostly at 1080p. I can even run at 1440p uh, without much issues. And I, I haven't tried much on the 4K um, resolution yet, but I think it can run most of the games on 4K as well. Probably not as smooth as the 1080p uh, ones. Um, and then what else do we have? Uh, yeah, we have our 1TB of um, SSD here. Uh, I don't know if you can see, that's behind the, behind or below the, um, the i7 processor. And mm, that's also a pretty handy component for high speed data transfer. Um, so the loading times are pretty much fast on this PC and um, that's what a gamer needs, right? So you don't have to wait along for uh, installations and loading. The whole gaming PC is uh, ARGB LED edition from Mystic Light. And uh, regarding the cooling part, we have like, uh, this is the fan for the uh, processor and then you have a fan on the, on the roof which is also pretty good. And then uh, our graphics card comes with um, two fans below. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, so in overall, we have like four fans inside and um, that's doing the cooling. But what I've seen is that the, the whole PC doesn't get heated up uh, so easily. So it's pretty good and it doesn't create much noise as well. So it's one of the most friendliest uh, gaming PCs in terms of noise and uh, cooling. Unfortunately, we don't have any uh, liquid cooling inside. Uh, probably this is something we have to consider when we upgrade this um, PC to, uh, to uh, more powerful you know, components. 
So that's what we have in our mind. And the front part of the PC is pretty awesome as well. It's a pretty um, a pretty power button here as well. The diamond shaped fancy power button for the gaming types. And then you have the MSI logo below and you have a lot of vents here, which helps in the cooling as well. At the rear end, we have these two antennas, nice looking antennas for our Wi-Fi reception. And we have all the ports here. Uh, on the left side all the usb 3 and usb uh, 2 ports as well as uh, the, the ps2 uh, input for the mouse and the keyboard and all the audio jacks and all of the miscellaneous aux cable jacks the motherboard is coming from msi because obviously the pc be being an msi gaming pc it will have its stock msi motherboard inside let me put this disclaimer first i'm not a gaming hardware expert but i do know some of the components and i have tried to assemble um, a gaming PC based on my needs and um, uh, my budget. So um, I think this is a pretty good deal. But uh, in overall, the PC costed me only 1,299 um, euros because I had a 200 euros voucher from um, uh, MSI uh, via corporate benefits. And uh, that really uh, was handy for me. And for 1,299, I think this PC is uh, really worth and you know, uh, really a, a masterpiece for this money. Thank you.